Cheers. Ooh. Mm hmm These hit the spot every single time. Mmm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love. Now, most of you know I've lost over 100 pounds by making healthier versions of some of my favorite foods. So today we're gonna be making chicken nuggets. So I grew up eating the most, the unhealthiest of the unhealthiest <laughs> foods. Since I've been living a low carb lifestyle, I have made so many different versions, but the one that we're gonna do today is literally the easiest the easiest of them all. So they're actually made with just three ingredients. So I have ground chicken. So I literally just got the ground chicken from the store. We have eggs and then some parm, okay? Um, and then of course salt and pepper, but you know, that's optional. I'm just, you know, all you need for the actual chicken nuggets to turn out are the chicken, eggs, and parm. So this is gonna be super, super quick. You can bake these. We're gonna go the easier route. We're gonna cook them in the air fryer. So they're gonna get nice and crispy, juicy on the inside. It's just a whole thing. It's just like a whole vibe. We have our chicken. Okay, so chuck in your eggs. You can add seasonings, but again, this is like a three ingredient recipe. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep it really, really basic. We're gonna do a little salt and pepper. The, the parm is what's gonna make them nice and crispy on the outside. So I wouldn't skimp out on this. I feel like it adds more to the texture than the flavor, but of course it still adds to the flavor, if that makes sense. So and I picked all of this stuff just at my local store. So it's not anything like, the brand doesn't really, you know, it doesn't make a difference. So just choose whatever, whatever you have on hand, whatever you can get your hands on, they will pretty much all work. Okay, and now let's just give this a good mix. Okay. Okay, so this is what your batter or this is what your chicken is gonna look like before we start assembling them. Okay, now remember, this is completely optional, okay? <laughs> this is completely optional, but I'm gonna add in onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of smoked paprika, just to add to the flavor. But if all you add is salt and pepper, then you will be just fine with that. You're the one that's gonna eat them, so just add whatever you want. Okay, beautiful. Now, what I'm gonna do is just so that they look a little more uniform is use a little cookie scoop. And I'm gonna use my liners. So the liners are you do not have air fryer liners. These right here are such a um, game changer. They just make using the air fryer so much easier. So now I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little avocado oil. And then I'm using a ice cream scooper so that I'm able to get the same size, right? So they can be a little more uniform. You can spray a little bit of avocado oil on your hand so that it doesn't stick. And I'm gonna shape them into little nuggets. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of them and then I will show you how they look before I put them in to cook. Okay, so I shaped them as best as I could and we're gonna do two batches. So this one's going in first. This one's gonna go in for about 10 minutes at 400 degrees, but wait until I show you how nice and crispy and beautiful these turn out. If you're a chicken nugget lover, this one here. Well, here it's for you. So a few of you have been asking me about the supplements I take. So I figured I haven't taken my probiotics and prebiotics today. Um, the ones that I take are the ones by seed. So this is the DS1 Symbiotic. It's actually a probiotic and a prebiotic in one. And the capsule inside makes it all the way down into your colon, which feeds all the gut bacteria that needs to be fed down there. This right here has been such a game changer for me. Literally, my hair was falling out. I would get super, super bloated after I ate. I had like dry patches all over my body. And so of course I had to make some changes. I tried to uh, remove a lot of the processed foods that I was eating, seed oils. Okay, you guys hear me talk about the seed oils all the time, took those out of my diet. And then I incorporated a super high quality probiotic and prebiotic. And just super quickly, I started seeing and feeling the difference. I also became very regular. So if you have an issue with, you know, 
your bowel movements, then this is definitely um, a good place to start. And I do have a discount code, which is LCL25. You can use my same discount code. I'll leave it linked in the description below. You can get 25% off on your entire order. So I just take two a day, cheers. That is it, I don't worry about it. I usually do it first thing in the morning. I just haven't eaten much today. This is one of my ultimate supplements. Um, I do have a few others that I'll try to share with you guys um, as we go along, but probiotic and prebiotic is definitely a must in my life. Okay, so these are coming out nice and crispy. Now I'm gonna take them off the liner just so that they could get nice and crispy at the bottom as well. Okay, this is completely optional. Trust me, you can have them right now already and they're already really, really good. These are, they already have a nice golden brown color on top, but I really want them to get it on the bottom as well. So going back in. Ooh, this is exactly why I ended up removing the um, air fryer liner. I wanted them to be nice and crispy just like this. All right, so here you have it. Look at that beautiful, nice crust on the outside. They are nice and golden brown, just how I like them. And then I have a little ketchup. So obviously you dip them in whatever you want. I'm just kind of like a barbecue sauce, barbecue or ketchup type of person. And uh, today we have ketchup. So we're going in for that taste test. Cheers. Ooh, hot. Mm. Mm hmm These hit the spot every single time. Mm. They have a nice little like crispiness on the outside, super juicy. That's what I love about these, which for me is really important because the last thing I want is like a super dry uh, nugget. So if you are a nugget person, like if you are like a nugget fan, a chicken nugget fan, you have to try these. Not only because they're a healthier version of what's out there, they're just so super easy. Like you can literally make these for your kids super quick. No one will know that they are, they don't have breading and all kinds of, you know, ingredients that you can't pronounce. This is literally chicken, eggs, parm. That's it. Like you can't get any easier than that. So I hope you really enjoyed this easy, quick recipe. Um, I'll leave everything linked in the description below for you. But if you did like this video, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to hit the little bell notification so that you're reminded every time I post a video. If you have friends and family that are either trying to lose some weight, trying to make some healthier choices in their life, or maybe diabetic, please share my channel, share these recipes with them because they could be super, super helpful. But thank you so much for being here. I love you. I'll see you on my next video. Mwah.